From the Watergate Building in Washington, this is Hotline TV. Now, here's Hotline Editor, John Mercurio. Welcome to Hotline TV. I'm Amy Walter. And I'm John Mercurio. So on his way to New Hampshire earlier this week, New York City Mayor Mike Bloomberg insisted he doesn't have national politics on his mind. He added, the truth of the matter is, I'm going to be in New Hampshire just for dinner. Mm -hmm. So do we buy this? It's a long way to go for dinner, although Well, if I will you're a say, millionaire, you can go any billionaire, you can go anywhere you want you for dinner. You can go any, anywhere, but I will say there are some very nice restaurants in Manchester, mm. New Hampshire. Mm. He wasn't just in New Hampshire this week, he's also out at Google, out in Mountain View, California, talking mm. to those Google employees, just like John Edwards, John McCain, Rudy Giuliani, Hillary Clinton. Uh, and uh, Barack Obama have been doing so. Look, he's he's part of he is slowly becoming part of this little presidential right. circuit. Whether he's actually on the campaign trail, he is increasingly being treated like a presidential candidate. Whether he runs as an independent with Chuck Hagel or by himself or as a Republican, um, he is he is part of the debate in a way that I think. Uh, people need to take seriously. And, you know, Democrats look at this as a, some sort of, I think, they're, they're salivating at the idea that, that Michael Bloomberg will run. They think he'll give Rudy Giuliani, uh, the person they might fear most, uh, a real run for his money, that he'll, they'll challenge him on his post-9-11 record. Right. Democrats in a general election against Michael Bloomberg should be terrified. He is a liberal Democrat. He will pull strongly, I think, from, uh, from a Hillary Clinton or a Barack Obama in a general election if he's an independent candidate. And he'll pull from the independents, which is basically how Barack Obama um, uh, expects to uh, sort of win the, pres the, the election next November. So a real problem, I think, for Democrats, not Republicans. Well, I think you're right that what Bloomberg is doing right now is brilliant, which is you can not announce that you're not announcing, but you still get to be part of the national debate, right? right? You get to put your voice forward, you get no criticism, you get to stay above the fray. It's a nice place to be. Sure. But let's talk about what it takes to be an independent president. And I think there are sort of these checklists, right? One is... All right, uh, country feeling frustrated with the status quo, looking for a change. There's no doubt that that's where we are right now in this country with only 19% of voters in the last Wall Street Journal poll saying they feel the country is in the, headed in the right direction. Right. So clearly that's true. Number two, have lots of your own money. Ah, okay, we can check that box off. Number three, try not to be a crazy loon like Ross Perot. Okay, I think he can check that off. I don't see anything that suggests he's getting on the crazy he's train. Ross Perot with a resume. I mean, he's yeah, and resume. he's not. He doesn't and seem he's not crazy. Crazy. Okay, number four. Have a message that resonates. See, that's what I'm still waiting for. Right. I just don't see what that is, and that to me still detracts, especially when everybody's running as an outsider this year. Nobody's running to defend the status quo. Mm -hmm. Running against the status quo is going to be a little more difficult than it was, say, back in 92 when he got to run against an incumbent president. Right. I think the message that he, that he, sort of the de facto message of the Bloomberg campaign, which is sort of why you have at least a small group of, 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 of voters really clamoring for an independent candidate, is sort of this post-partisan politics. It's a lot of why we're seeing Barack Obama uh, draw so much appeal these days is because he, you know he he's the candidate right now in either side uh, who sort of helps them look beyond the Bush Clinton Bush Clinton years uh, the sort of not Democrat not Republican right. Obama of course is a Democrat and has a pretty liberal Democratic voting record but he helps. Uh, I, I think sort of at least project the image of somebody um, who wouldn't uh, govern in a partisan way. And that's what Bloomberg uh, would do. And that's what I think a lot of people think is the biggest problem in Washington. And that's uh, the appeal of him. Does he run ultimately? I don't think so. No, I ultimately no he's think not he going to do that. But, but he's part of but the anyway, debate. That's exactly right. Well, we're glad that Bloomberg is laying his culinary claim to New Hampshire. Those fried funnel cakes just do it for me. Oof. That kind of make my stomach hurt. John, you just need to develop, uh, you know, more sophisticated palate. But until then, we're out of time and we're out of Hotline TV. Join us tomorrow, Hotline TV.